Okay, a lightning quick video to show you how to make a smoke firing vortex cannon. Now this is, it sounds quite grand and dramatic, it's basically a small way of showing you how to build a little smoke, smoke ring generator, but also a little device for making your own DIY smoke. So the same sort of smoke they use in films and TV and big stage show on a really, really small scale. So easy to use, come down and have a little look at this. This is what you need. You need some tape, you don't need the big fancy black tape, you can just use sellotape, a pair of scissors, two pound coin, a teaspoon, a pen, a lighter. Now these are really important. The other ones it doesn't really matter if you don't have exactly the same thing. Uh, these are important. A couple of tea lights um, with little metal casings. Um, some paper clips like that that are bendable. An old jam jar. And then the only really thing that, that you need to go out and buy is some glycerin. Now this is sold normally in the baking section of, um, of a supermarket. It's really easy to lay your hand on. Um, it's, it's something you use when you're baking um, sort of sugar and cake and stuff like that. And a little bit of water. And a box, okay? Now what you need to do is tape up the box. So you tape, you close it up and then tape all the way around it like that until it looks something like this. Ta da Okay, one taped up box, it doesn't look particularly fancy. Um, and then you take your two pound coin, on one side, it doesn't really matter what side, you draw uh, a circle and then cut that circle out. So that's the important bit, just a little circle in the box. So at the end of it you should have an airtight box with a nice, really nicely round hole. And the roundness of it is quite important. So that's the box ready. Next up, the smoke generator. So what you need to do, oh, uh, you need to unfold one of these paper clips and then take one of your tea lights and use the paper clip to push a hole into it, just in the side. And you need to leave the candle in it, otherwise, otherwise the, the, um, the tea light holder collapses. So one there. Oops, another one there, nice hole there, and a third one over here. Beautiful. Okay, then you can take the tea light out. And you should just have this little tray. We're going to use this as a little kind of um, cooking tray. Now, take the rest of your paper clips and bend them so that they make a little sort of hook. And it should turn into sort of an S shape. Like that. You see that. This is the slightly fizzy bit. You have to take the smaller end and push that through. There we go. Okay, we'll use one there like that. So, once you've done that, take your second tea light and drop it into the jam jar. And let's just check that this is going to hang over the candle. That's a little bit clunky there, that one needs to be a bit longer, like that. That looks pretty good, you know. Brilliant. Now, this is the trick. One drop of glycerin to two drops of just plain, ordinary water. Let's see if we can do two drops with this teaspoon. Cool, cool. Whoa, that'll do. Okay, so you've got a little mixture there of glycerin and water. And what's going to happen is we're going to heat that up by lighting the candle down here, and that will that will heat up the, the, uh, the mixture of glycerin and water so that eventually it will start to make a little bit of smoke. Now, very gently hang the glycerin holder over the top of it. And it just needs to sit just over the flame, so as it gets warmer and warmer. This is the slightly tricky bit. And slowly, slowly, we're filling up. So you need to get as much smoke in there as you can. It might take a couple of goes. And then, what's really handy is have a couple of little lights, especially if you can get some sort of torches or something. These are quite handy. You don't need anything like this, but um, a couple of little lights will help. And then we need to turn the lights off. Brad, can you turn the lights off? It's one light off. It's not quite dark enough in here to be able to do it, but we'll give it a try. And I'm going to put something nice and dark in the background, so hopefully, you can see if this generates a smoke ring. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, nearly, I'll try again. Three, two, one. Ooh, nearly one more. Three, two, one. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. And one more from here. Oh, that's a nice one. Basically, it's a, it's a spinning ring of smoke and it keeps spinning. Because it's spinning, it sort of keeps its shape all the way through. That one hit the camera perfectly. It's a beautiful thing. Can you see that, Chris? Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. It? Oh, that's a fast one. The faster you go, 
It seems like the neater they get. I'm going to come back here so if I can get a really long one. That's pretty good. And it's called a toroidal vortex, because that's the shape of the ring. It's called a toroid. It's so beautiful. There you go. Okay, so that's how, in the, in the pitch black, that's how you make your own DIY smoke machine and a smoke ring vortex cannon. Come back and see some more of my videos soon. Thank you.